follow-up from the other day. If you made your money selling magnets, would you want to be known as a magnet magnet? Or would people just think you had a stutter? Okay, so, so all this list making and planning for the future. Well, I think I might have the start of a solution. I think that mountain climbing analogy, is analogy the right word? What's the other one? A simile? Or is it a metaphor? Hmm. I should look it up. Let's not bother at the moment. The idea about climbing a mountain as a sign of a personal life achievement is looking in the wrong direction, especially with my knees. Doing something physical or dangerous just to prove yourself is a stupid idea and can hurt a lot, and at the very least, you need specialist clothing. Far better to do something creative, make something physical. Art, literature, music. Is it physical if you write a song? What you need is something you can actually point at when someone asks you on your deathbed, what did you do with your life? Yes, I know, most of us have kids. I've got my daughter and she's great most of the time, but it's not quite the same as, say, Michelangelo being asked, what did you do then? And him going, have a look at that ceiling then, mate. That's not bad, is it? Or inventing something useful like Newton and gravity. That's quite a big deal. Must have been a nightmare before that, everything floating about all over the place. So, with that in mind, I am now on the hunt for the right creative idea. Started it last night with a whole evening watching BBC Four. Not sure it really helped, as I don't think opera is going to be my thing. There was a programme on conceptual art. Now that I can do. Who can't? Although not knowing the difference between a simile, metaphor and an analogy could be a problem, as it all seems to be about talking bollocks for as long as possible about some pile of shite you've just dumped in the middle of an art gallery. We've got three old urinals at the rugby club, but you don't see Alan Yentob down there explaining their deep significance to the cultural landscape, do you? At least I haven't. Anyway, where did I put those paintbrushes? Might have a go at the living room ceiling later.